Hey everyone, uh, I am Chandra Shekhar. I am curriculum manager from Masai School. In Masai School, I am teaching uh, all the basics of HTML, JavaScript, and uh, all the development basics. So in this video, I am going to teach what is React. So React is basically a JS library to create fast and interactive user websites. Uh, it has uh, gone very much means the users in React is very much high. So it was basically developed by uh, Facebook. And then it's also uh, open sourced by many of the engineers. So it is like an open source library for all the uh, developers uh, out there. And then uh, it is built on top of JavaScript. So it is not nothing in new language or uh, something else. It is built on top of JavaScript. So if you see some Iron Man, so all the suit is like React and outer part is React and whatever is inside that is JavaScript. So we can uh, make a close uh, call there. Yeah, so whatever you see in website, so it will be front end and back end. So whatever users see, it will go through React only. So backend will do something. It will uh, send to frontend through React. So the basic the communication which was going through user it is uh, through purely React. Why React? So basically until now, uh, whatever websites you are seeing, it was ba purely based on React. But previously in the old old ages like 1980s, 1990s, all the websites are built on purely HTML. So there is no user interaction. There is no something user can do. They, they can just come to the website and see that. But now as the uh, country is winding up and so many users are building up in the website, so we need to make it user interactive and take some input from the user. So to make it more interactive and to uh, build a fast uh, web pages, we will go for React. So there are so many things in React. The first one is uh, it is very fast loading and dynamic content based. So whatever pages you see, the uh, compared to HTML page, React page will load very much faster. And then it is very designer friendly. So using uh, JavaScript or HTML to make uh, some design of a good web page, it will take more time. But using some React libraries or from CSS libraries, we can make very easy or very user friendly website. And then it is also a readable and good maintenance code. So in React, uh, uh, unlike JavaScript, we can make good code and we can separate into components and we can do whatever stuff you want and we can reuse all those components. And then the consistency. So using uh, so React can handle so many users at a time. So the load on the page will also reduce when we go for React. And then uh, why React is so popular over the last few years. So first one is it is very ease of development, and the collaboration which we do on React is very easy because of the reusable components. Uh, most of the users can use others components as well. And then it is SPS, a single page application. So whenever we build any website, so it, through react we can build only single page applications no need to create so many pages for all the websites and all and then it has very fast performance as i told the because of this fast performance many users are using started using react and then it is easy to maintain so it is not like uh, very hard like javascript to build all the ui components it is very easy to maintain and then react is also well supported across all the languages so a uh, few of the companies which support react is uh, facebook twitter netflix uber and then paypal bbc so all these companies are using React as their major uh, work tool and all. And then it has, uh, in the last few years, it has built a large community among React. So now if you see the communi uh, community of React, there are many open source developers who are contributing to React and then they're building new things on, on top of the React. And then they're also uh, React native for Android users also. So basically React is not only limited to web development, it's also, uh, it also has some uh, use, use in uh, React native apps like Android apps and all. Over the last few years, the community in React has increased very largely. It is like a linear curve. So, so many users who are using uh, React, so they're contributing open source projects and then uh, their, their work towards React is very more and it is helping others to build the community. And then uh, it also has some Android apps. So using React native, we can build Android apps also. It is not only limited to web development. It's also, uh, we also can also build some Android applications using React Native. So based on all these things, uh, the graph of React is uh, very much linear. So the number of users using React is very much large. It is increasing day by day. And I think over the next five or 10 years, React will not uh, fade away. This is it. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you for watching.